Well, welcome to my podcast again. This morning I was going to uh, record my podcast in a different location. I got all set up yesterday in the sound room at the chapel, and uh, I was going to do something a little different. I was going to do a interview with one of my brothers uh, in the Lord that was... Uh, going to meet me down there this morning, but, uh, you know, we make plans, but sometimes God changes them, and what happened was, uh, it snowed out, <laughs> so I called my brother this morning, I told him, just, uh, we'll do it tomorrow morning, so tomorrow morning, hopefully, uh, I can do my first interview on my podcast. Well, uh, it's bright outside right now. The sun is coming up already. Um, well, actually, it's not really coming up. It's cloudy, but it's light out. And uh, it looks something kind of like my, my wallpaper this morning. It kind of looks like this outside, except I don't, I'm don't. i not in the forest. This is over in France, and I'm in the United States. So, uh, But it's snowing out there, so we decided to do it tomorrow. So I had to uh, come up with something I wanted to talk to you about this morning out of God's Word. And uh, uh, seeing I was going to, uh, it was about 10 weeks ago, or 10 weeks, 10 days ago, sorry about that, uh, that I did a podcast uh, on uh, the importance of sharing our testimony. And every Christian has a testimony, and that's what my plans were was to record one of those testimonies. Well, I've been doing these podcasts for about a month now, and uh, I talked about a lot of different things. And in, in, in giving our testimony, sometimes it isn't even just God will lead us to somebody, but not really give a testimony, but uh, to witness to somebody. So today, I would like to talk to you about Philip and the Ethiopian uh, eunuch. Uh, The uh, scripture is found in Acts uh, chapter 8, and starting with verse 26. And uh, I'm just going to read this, and then we'll, we'll talk about it here. Now an angel of the Lord said to Philip, now, you got to remember back in these days, uh, the scriptures, the, the New Testament was not written. So God was dealing with men in a different way. And he sent an angel to Philip. And the angel said, Rise up and go towards the south to a road that goes down from uh, Jerusalem to Gaza. This is a desert place. And he rose and went and when and there was an Ethiopian a eunuch of the court of the officers of uh, Candace queen of the Ethiopians who uh, was in charge of all her treasures he was a pretty important guy he came to Jerusalem to worship Uh, apparently he was Jewish in faith and was returning, seated in the chariot, and he was reading the prophet Isaiah. And Isaiah, of course, was written in uh, Hebrew. So he knew the Hebrew language, and he also uh, was worshiping the Jewish way. And the Spirit said to Philip, Go over and join this chariot. So uh, Philip ran to him and heard him reading Isaiah, the prophet, and he asked, Do you understand uh, what you are reading? And he said, How can I unless someone guide me? And he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. Now, the passage of Scripture that he was reading uh, was this. Like a a sheep, he was led to the slaughter, and like a lamb before his shearer, he is silent. 
so he opened his not his mouth uh, in his humility justice was denied him who can describe this generation for his life was taken from him from the earth this scripture that he was reading was out of Isaiah uh, in uh, chapter 53 and and the eunuch said to Philip about who whom I ask you does this prophet say this about himself or about someone else and Philip opened his mouth and began with the scriptures, and that was the Old Testament at that time, and he told him the good news about Jesus. And as they were going along the road, there, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, See, here is some water. What prevents me from being baptized? You know, apparently this eunuch, knew about John the Baptist and how he was baptizing for uh, the repentance, uh, the baptism of repentance for sins. And he uh, commanded the chariot to stop, and both went down into the water, Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. And when they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord carried Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more, and he went on his way rejoicing. But Philip found himself in uh, Asius, and uh, as he passed through, uh, preaching the gospel to all the town until he came to Caesarea. This is a wonderful story. We have Philip uh, given an opportunity to not only to witness to the eunuch but also to preach as he was going on his way. But God works, worked a little different back then. I mean, he worked with an angel. Uh, but the scriptures, we have the story of Philip and the, uh, the Ethiopian eunuch. And because we have the story, we can learn from it. We can learn that uh, God will lead us to people uh, to share the Word of God with them. Uh, so besides being uh, giving our testimonies, we can be witnesses for God. Uh, and uh, that's why it's important for all Christians to know and understand their Bibles. Uh, so I'm, I'm just trying to encourage you to read and to understand uh, the Word of God and then share it with others. You know, we should get excited about the Word of God. There's times where when I'm sharing Scripture with somebody, I, <laughs> I get carried away. Sometimes I, 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 I get so enthused that I'm getting a chance to share something that is so valuable and so important to every man, woman, and child. And that's the Word of God. We got a treasure in our hands when we hold our Bible in our hands. So with that said, I'm just going to close my podcast. Like I say, I don't like to carry on and preach a long sermon and, and keep you going. So why don't we just, uh, why don't we just close in prayer? Lord, again, I just thank you so much for, for your word. And uh, I know I was not going to do this podcast this morning, but uh, I'm glad that you put it on my heart, Lord, to uh, share the story of Philip and the Ethiopian eunuch, Lord. It's so important that we understand the word of God so we can share it with other people. May we continually read your word and learn from it, Lord. And may we bless others. Uh, we have been given a gift that keeps on giving. And uh, as we learn from you, Lord, we can teach others. Uh, so I just pray that who's ever watching this uh, podcast uh, uh, does that, Lord, that they truly uh, 
share the Word of God, because there's so many people that never pick up the Bible and read it, and we need to uh, encourage them and share the Word with them, and share the Word with the lost. And too, I know our testimonies are important too, and uh, maybe uh, tomorrow I'll be able to uh, share a testimony with uh, with those out here and on the internet, Lord. I just pray this now and, and give you thanks in your wonderful name. Amen. Well, again, as I end, have a great day, and don't forget uh, God's Not Silent. Pick up your Bible and read it. I will encourage you and keep encouraging you. With that said, I'm going to end my podcast. So again, we'll see you.